Hi, hi, you guys. It's Yvonne. I am at New Horizons. I just finished restocking the booth. And New Horizons is just like two blocks on the way home. And I got up early, so I got done by before one o'clock even. So I hit a couple thrift stores on the way home. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what this is. A light panel that you could put on a t-shirt. Electroluminous panel ideas. <laughs> Wonder if that works. That's cute. It's only 49 cents. Here we've got is I don't know what's PC Eskimo Inuit something like that. Okay, so forgive me if I don't use the PC word. 199. All blue tags are on sale here today. That's kind of a cute little fella. Coca-Cola Repop stuff. Those are all very cheap resin, okay? So I'm not even going to pick them up. But there's a grip of them. Hmm. Wait a minute. This here looks like pottery, though. Let's pull out this bag. No. And of course, that's pretty new. Made to look old. Only 99 cents. Not quite what I'm looking for for resale, right? Treasure Gold Blessings box. It's taped. I'll have to see what's in it in just a minute. Pretty quiet in here. This looks like some of that Spanish recycled glass with the like Scavo texture on it. Some names by that do sell for a little bit. Antique fortune money. Wait a minute. But those are remakes, right? For like making things out of. I might still get that. 99 cents. One of you might want that to, you know, make some things out of. Angel candle holder. Puppy dog candle. Too many nicks though, I, I feel like. Little clown, hello. You look like you're from the 90s, 80s or 90s. Let's see. Harlequin clown. Let's see what I can tell. Made in China for Rite Aid. So it's hard to tell. Certificate of Authenticity. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> it's kind of cute. How much was it? $4.99. Yeah, that's not, not really feeling it, you guys. That's cute though, look, this one's nicely done. Hang on, I'm just using my belly to get a better grip of it. A bird and a turtle, $1.99. This is like a, looks like a little bit older piece of resin. It's not signed though. His face is cute. Kind of Hummel style, right? Well, a couple points for me if they'll let me play virtually. There's a couple of points, or one point. Some shells. Blue ticket, $3.99, so half price. Those aren't very good shape, though, you guys. I do tend to buy the bags of shells if they're good looking. Let's see, is that pottery or art glass? Oh, that's a little piece of art glass. Just a little melted one. You know, you just put it over a mold, put it in the kiln. 49 cents. I'll sell it real cheap at the booth. Save it, right? We'll save it. Oh, I was looking at this. If it's not broken, these sell okay. I've sold a couple of these at the booth. Pear tree baskets. Let's see, <laughs> one-handed. No, that's not in bad. That looks okay. And then, sorry, I used the hand with the phone. <laughs> you guys went with me on that task. Okay, $1.99 half price, yeah. I can get a few bucks for those, all right, at the booth. Let's see, where were we? I saw some plaster grape plaque. 
I need to be careful. Okay, where can I put this? There's a napkin holder, wooden papaya. All right, I need both hands. I needed both hands, sorry. I got it out. It's just like a retro vintage plaster plaque. It would be a dollar. It's pretty nicked up though, you guys. Let's see this little wedding basket. Commercially made. Coming up. Ninety-six. The label's off of who made it. Life. Probably has a, probably make a couple bucks off of that, right? I forget who makes these big goblets. They make them in some colors too. They put some flash on them. Ninety-nine cents. Who makes those? Darn it! Sorry, you guys. They come in colors too. <laughs> I just can't remember everything. Made in China sticker, dropping down, utensil holder, all chipped up, nothing in the box. Hey, do those count too? I don't know. Maybe I'll get to play it with them this September when I go to Pennsylvania is my final stop to visit Mom Pat. My husband's from Pennsylvania. Small town, about an hour away from Jocelyn and Dagny. Macrame. Hmm, let's see how old this is. I know nothing about this kind of stuff. Terry Labonte. Let's see if I can tell how old it might be. Hmm, $4.99. Collect all the 1999 Hot Wheels racing vehicles. Five bucks. I better check that. I'll put it in the cart for a second, but I better check that for a $5 buy-in. One of those, um, like, feet rollers, massagers, or back. You guys have probably seen those. You know what I'm talking about, right? Let's see. Police departments. Somebody put their own pictures on these, I do believe. I believe they shellacked or decoupaged their own pictures. I'm just letting you guys see everything. Oh, hanging basket holder. Okay, hang on. Is that a macrame? How much are you? $2.99. Okay, we're going to open you up here at the end of the aisle. Any cool baskets? That's probably... That might be a Lazy Susan. Oh, that is so 80s, early 90s with that stencil on it, isn't it? It is a Lazy Susan, though. $3.99. I usually buy all of them. For some reason, I'm not loving that one. Little bicycles. Little metal bicycles. Probably Hobby Lobby or Walmart. They still have the tag on it. Mini Garden Decor Bicycle. You know what? Those would be half price. What else have we got? I might get those. Okay, here's one out of the package. Let's set it up. Ooh, that was too fast. Sorry, you guys. I don't know. Just for fun. Sell them for like a dollar at the booth. But is it really that cool? Just to... I don't know. I know it's time is money, right? But I do like to have some cute little things that are easy, you know, affordable, like super crazy affordable. Pick up for under $5 so that people are like, where's that one booth? She always has something good priced in there, you know, for people who are on a budget. And then they might see something else. And even though it's more expensive, that mall will let you do layaway. Look at that nice lay. That's a nice one, actually. Seeing if there's any cool flowers I want. Let's turn around and go back down. Okay, we've turned around to do the other side of the aisle. And up here I see 
That is just glass, thin glass, somewhat thin, and it is flash on the inside. It's got the Hager pottery vibe, right? But it's the color, that teal color, and with that vintage kind of Hager vibe. It's not the most high end, but the reason I'm gonna go ahead is because of that 80s, 90s vibe and with the color, and it's only $5.99. I almost feel positive someone will buy that out of the booth. Okay, on my screen it's showing blue, so I want to tell you it's more of a teal sea green. Okay, really cool. So, you know, think 80s, early 90s. So, let's get it. Okay, more clowns. Wait, that one looks interesting. Nope, no thank you. Susan B. Anthony doll. Eleven ninety nine now. It's a Barbie, really? Huh. But eleven ninety nine. Let's check it out just in case. Oh, hi hi. Not seen better days and it's very new but it's probably light color changing. Decal resin made to look old. Some Polynesian items. Cute cat but he's broken. This piece was here at the end of the aisle the candlesticks and I thought that might be silver plated. It's 99 cents. Let me peel the label off. Hang on, I gotta have, <laughs> I gotta use my belly to help hold things. Anyways, okay, there you go. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get the focus. It says Alvin Sterling, but I can't read all that other stuff. So I still don't know if it's just plated or not. But for 99 cents, we'll go ahead and get it. I saw another, pair just like this on eBay now it's asking price 120 asking and they're claiming it's sterling silver anyways for 99 cents we can take a chance well my first love selling art glass faces I think I've already whined about this before it is getting a little harder to find cool ones but I do know I have some high competition from some local um, florist you know the local shops they're not like chains and they like to save money by recycling and so they come in and buy some of the good ones so glasses glasses little atomic glass totally faded there's a nice optic goblet very heavy 49 cents Decorated wine glass, contemporary, I'm sure. Let's see if we see any lead crystal or any glassy baby because they also make tumble-ups and drinking glasses because I keep an eye on their website so that I know what is new. That one's signed, but it doesn't look like lead crystal or anything. Let's drop down, a little empty down there, but let's take a peek. Nope. Nope, nope. Little Art Deco vibe of decor. Zoega's Cafe, so Swiss or something. <laughs> Looks like a blue sky, but it's not. It's not quality enough. It's just kind of got that vibe. $3.99. I can tell, you know, the quality's not there, but you say makes a difference oh lordy it sure does words are very powerful how much is this I'm gonna see how much that is I have a ton of that stuff I did all that in the 90s I took a couple years off did this like spiritual thing <laughs> read a bunch of spiritual books comparative religion and um, 
conscious creation, that kind of stuff. It's interesting. Well, here's something someone would love to have, especially in certain parts of the country. $69.99, barrelback bamboo, bamboo-like. What does that mean? It looks like real bamboo to me. I'd have to flip it over and get a manufacturer's. George would probably be all over this, and so would Laura Caldwell. <laughs> I'm back in a quiet corner. Okay, so she seems to only be worth about 25-ish. So everything's there though. But at that buy-in, better not. Some people are selling this person here, even though it's vintage, for about five dollars. But the hanging basket's good. I'll show you. Yeah, that's good for three dollars, right? That's nice. Okay, and they are putting stuff out over there, so I may make one more pass through. Okay, second stop, Goodwill. And on my way back, I looked for some clothing. And I always feel like that's boring, you guys. Just picked up a vintage Sturgis t-shirt for my crazy t-shirt sale, a Christian Dior blazer, probably from the 90s and Joe's jeans for sis and a purse for sis I don't know how to say this name but it's a good pretty good brand they make leather purses just let me show you because I never say it right Tangelino you can't see all of it but it's a pretty good brand and then off a rounder top I put this in the cart I want to check it out look at that that's the first time I've ever seen that made in German Democratic Republic ask my mom about that but anyways I think I'm gonna get that I'm gonna look up what that means and if it doesn't have a good resale value I think I'll give it to my mom and this was sitting here for a dollar ninety nine super cute and it is made in Norway one of my husband's let me just say it like that <laughs> was from Norway he had to go back he was a bad boy <laughs> okay so Let's get started. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around and start at the little shot Chotsky's Chotsky's yeah Chotsky's aisle knickknacks. Well, there's not a lot on it, but let's see what we can do. Oh, poor little babies. One ninety nine. You're both chipped, but you're adorable. That one actually isn't that bad and could be fixed. This one I don't think so. Who are you? <laughs> if they just would have put a better tail. You got a little going on. A little pewter cat for a dollar ninety-nine. We might find something. It only takes a couple items to make some money every day. <laughs> okay. You must be the female peacock. Maybe Italian. Not the best. It's okay. There's some cut glass vase. Just out of curiosity. $2.99. That's not bad. Etched and cut. A little bit of lead crystal in it. Hundred no, twelve ninety nine. I was gonna say what? Missing her hair. I think I tried to look her up last time and didn't have much luck. You look Japanese. Hello, Nanyana. You look very Japanese. Some nicked teapots. Pretty new kitty cat. Presidents of the United States. Stopped with Nixon. Hmm, now he's notorious, you know. That's Nixon, right? Yeah. $4.99. That one's kind of tempting because it stops with Nixon. So let's check it out too when we're checking out that German, what that German signature means. This has a Frank Oma vibe. 
Mother for your slaw. Something love Lane or Shane. Aw. This is like a Funko Pop, but I don't know if it is. Only at Toys R Us. I think they came back. Oh, it is a Funko. $3.99. Let's see if that's one of the good ones or not. Wait a minute. I almost missed this butterfly. Oh, I like you. Look, a little wooden butterfly. Phew, I'm glad I backed up. Okay, next aisle. $6.99. Flash painted in the red is. I believe that's an anchor hawking. Can't get too much more for it. This one's almost been sun purpled. $19.99. Wow, really? Calm down now. A piece of vintage glass, green. $1.99. It's not a bad price. Cream and sugar that's missing the lid. Pyrex, little blue Pyrexes. Don't say it like that. I know I said Pyrexes. Don't say it like that, y'all. <laughs> if you do accidentally, okay, you can blame me. Let's turn around. Oh, the handle's broken, but wow, look at that. That's a shame. $2.99, the handle's broken up. That'd make a good, like, you know, bust it up and make a mosaic. That's pretty. Huge. You're talking to me. Oh no, <laughs> just, talk, just talking to my phone here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a huge milk glass punch bowl, $12.99. I'm attracted to that. I don't know if you're missing a lid or you're just like a big... <laughs> do you guys know who that is? I do not. Oh, it's a vampire of some kind. You know, when you don't have little kids at home, you're not hip to um, the latest cartoons and stuff huge basket gonna have to pass I did sell a basket though I put all my baskets together for Easter and I sold one of them I think it was the Fenton I wanted to get this so bad the other day because of the cattails it's got one flaw but I still almost went for it and just hide it in the back because of the cattails and the stained glass and try to upcycle that for my mom if it lasts to the sale, that's probably what's going to happen. Ray Dunn, $3.99. That's not a good amount to pay. Hi, Maui. Okay. Someone showed me something from Threshold, which I think is Target, right? And the, the cup says, hi, hi. Unfortunately, it only comes in one color, and you can't really see the hi, hi on it. So I went to eBay to see if I could get one for myself. Oh, that's sweet. This little Mexican glass is sweet. $2.99. Only one. Oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. More talky perspective. One onion. Okay. Any more? I want them all. You guys see any more? <laughs> I'm way down on the floor. Ah! Noritake Perspective. Awesome. My favorite. Well, I found these on the rounder top, so I went back to get this one. So that's kind of cool, but they would still be $9 altogether. They're $2.99 a piece make a little bit of money that's fun Mexican glass with some artwork on it okay so Raven only goes for about 12 or so $3.99 think I'll leave it these only go for about 12 to 15 even the ones with Nixon so I think I'll pass this just happened to be sitting here when I came over let me show you the name. The Bruciani Collection. Um, the British Museum Company. 
So these reproductions, I guess, sold in the gift shop, right, of the museum is what I'm suspecting. They have it $45, but you can only get about 30 or 40 if you're lucky. I was a little surprised about that. Okay, so let's get to this. I am going to buy this. So that is the East Germany from 49 to 1990. A little ditty they did. I think that's about the time. I think that's a. I don't know. I'm trying to remember when mom told me about her and her muddy and foddy barely escaping and being able to leave East Germany well, during a limited time. I can't really remember. I have to ask her about that, but they barely were able to. So, anyways, I'm going to get that and uh, I may resell it and I may give it to my mom. I know she'll get a kick talking about it and teaching me about that time period though. All right, and the rest is, uh, oh, my Noritake perspective. Yes, purse for Hannah. T-shirts to resell. I don't think I showed you this one that I just happened to catch. These sell for about 25 bucks. Rick Fairless Strokers Custom Choppers out of Dallas. That's a custom made. The rest is just clothing and some scarves for me. I love my scarves. Look at these colors. Periwinkle and then sky blue. They're only $1.99. So, wait a minute, I'm going to come down. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I hope you had a little bit of fun, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm,